severe situation getting worse there. Smugglers delivering busloads of migrants by the hour. Thousands have breached the border, streaming into the U.S., overwhelming immigration facilities there, and threatening the safety of agents and migrants alike. William Lajeunesse is live along the border in Yuma County, Arizona. William? Well, Sandra, uh, the numbers are going up, but it isn't just the number. It's who, it's the demographic that's being apprehended that the Border Patrol says makes this a crisis. Now, I want to show you that new video. These migrants arrived by an express bus direct from Guatemala, hired by the cartels. Then, one by one, man, woman, and child, they duck under a hole in the fence, then single file line up to be arrested by a Border Patrol agent. This is the camera that shot that video. We're in Yuma, 126 miles along the Mexican border. That is a secondary fence. Here is where agents patrol. That is a primary fence, put here in the 1990s. Now, Sunday, 3 p.m., three buses from Guatemala show up on the south side, 171, get out and come through this pre-cut hole, turn themselves in to agents. They pay on average about $7,000. Now already this year, last five months, there have been 170 breaches of the fence. In fact, these dates are dates of individual breaches. Apprehensions already double last year. But because they're other than Mexican, 96%, instead of being turned back over within eight hours, they're at the processing station. The agency is spending $100,000 a month on medical care, food, clothing, diapers. What does it mean? Half the agents who would otherwise be here doing enforcement are instead caring for and processing illegal immigrants back at the station. We have to feed those people all of the, you know, three meals a day. We have to provide them snacks. We provide them uh, juice. We have to provide diapers. We have to provide baby formula. We have to provide hygiene products. So all those things are costing us over $100,000 a month just here in Yuma. So the, the point is, some on Capitol Hill say this is not a crisis because agents are arresting fewer people than they did 18 years ago. Agents say that's irrelevant because of the demographic. Also, Sandra and John, um, some of the kids who are coming over do not actually belong to the parents who claim to be their parents. And we saw hundreds of fake documents yesterday on an ongoing investigation that shows that some of these kids are actually being trafficked. Back to you. Yeah. William Lajeunesse there at the border. Alert on